Hello, Tara ISD. This is your superintendent, Dr. Warnock, and I am so excited. Welcome to this week's edition of Wednesdays with Warnock. We're here talking with some of the team members, some of our team leaders here in our leading and learning department, and um, with some really exciting updates about some new things that are here in Terrell ISD. So we wanna welcome you, Dr. Trimble. Thank you for joining me. Dr. Trimble is our executive director of innovation and digital learning. So I hope we have a big celebration coming. We sure do, Dr. Okay. Warnock, and I am so excited about this opportunity. Um, as you know, we've had a few blended learning grants um, that we've been implementing this year um, focus mo primarily on early literacy. Our, we've also just been awarded uh, the Math Innovation Zone grant, which is a four-year process for us to implement quality blended learning uh, programs in kinder through eighth grade. The blended learning, so what does that mean? I'm a, I'm okay, so blended learning. Blended okay. learning is a combination of online learning mm -hmm. via technology and that gives the learner some control over the time, place, path, and pace, but it's also the brick and mortar. So they're still using those best practices that our wonderful teachers have been implementing and utilizing for years. It's that combination of face-to-face -face and technology and the technology allows the teachers to leverage those tools so that they can diagnose where the students are at differentiate a personalized learning path for each student, and then use that real-time data to monitor and adjust accordingly. This grant is a two-step process. Okay. So the first part, which we've already uh, you know, been awarded, is for $125,000. And this basically qualifies us to apply for the execution grant, which is another additional $100,000. That's so exciting. Yeah, I know that you exciting. have worked so hard to, to get this and as well as some of our other blended learning projects up and rolling and have been instrumental in the rolling out of Chromebooks and oh, all of well, that across the you. district. But so it's all you. about the kids. Yeah, so, it yeah, is. Well, we're excited about the digital learning that will be happening here in Terrell ISD and uh, moving this work forward. So thank you so much, Dr. Trimble, for joining us. My pleasure. All thank right. you. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Miss Allison Rison. And we're six feet away, so we've just taken off our masks. But uh, Miss Rison is our director for early literacy here in Terrell ISD. This is a new position this year because we realize the fundamental, critical importance of having every child reading on grade level. And so Miss Rison's bringing her expertise here to help us do that. So welcome to Terrell. Thank first you. First and foremost, Thank we're you so, so excited much. you're here. So you have launched. A caregiver University is part of a, a district initiative to so tell us about what is caregiver University yeah so caregiver University is um, parent sessions and uh, we called it caregiver University because it's not only for parents it can be for aunts uncles grandparents neighbors anyone who is caring for a child in Terrell ISD in pre-k through 5 and uh, we offer ways that parents can help or caregivers can help their children um, with literacy development. And so um, our last session was all about reading levels and we give specific tips on what you can do at home to help children become even better readers and writers. Okay, so give us like two tips, like two things as a parent or as a, a grandmother or a neighbor that I could do with the kiddo that I'm working with right now. So in kindergarten, they are learning what we call high frequency words. And so one thing you can do at home is build those words at home with magnetic letters. So we offer the tip that the dollar store um, has magnetic letters or they can get uh, cards from us that are letters um, from their teacher and they can build those words at home. Okay, so give me some example of those high frequency words. High frequency words, words uh, also known as sight words. So one of those words is the okay. or the. Another word is a, it. So they're building those words at home. Those and, are, and just those kinds of words yes, we see all the they're time. They're going to see all the time. Okay. And we also call them snap words because they need to know those words in a snap to be able to read fluently. They're going to be encountering those words in books all the time. He can see the page. So I can get magnetic letters or letters from my teacher and then just help to build those frequent sight words. Yes. The, and, the, a. Yes. Okay. Or. Okay. Right. Um, and then next, our next session on November 11th at 5 p.m. is going to be, I'm, I'm really excited because I'm going to be sharing games 
that parents or uh, caregivers can play with their children to build vocabulary. Ooh, that sounds fun. So, um, yeah, and it's gonna be a 30 minute session. Okay. All of these are done on Zoom. Okay. And then they're recorded. So they're also recorded in Spanish. Okay. And so we send these, the recorded links out via Remind and on social media. Okay, great. So if November 11th, 5 to 5.30? Yes. Okay, and we'll have an English and in Spanish? Yes, the and recorded, recorded the will be in Spanish. recorded mm -hmm. in Spanish. And so you can tune in to learn games that you can play with the kids in your life um, to help them build their vocabulary. I'm super excited to yeah, see Yeah, it's going to be super fun. Uh -huh. And it's games that you probably already have at home. Okay, so that is great. So stay tuned for more episodes of Caregiver University coming up. And check out our social media where you can follow those recordings if you're not able to join in live. Um, thank you so much. Thank we you. can't wait to see where our readers will go here in Texas. Yes, thank you so much. Please join us for Caregiver University.